Hey everybody and welcome back to Feed My Pet Friday, for one week anyway. Carrie, one of our fans, met up with us and gave us about 40 whole plucked chickens to feed to our reptiles. So I first off want to thank you Carrie so much for these chickens. We are very excited. Thank you for meeting with me too for us to pick them up. And we're excited to see how they go. So let's feed some snakes to our chi Let's feed some chickens to our snakes. <laughs> A quick disclaimer before we start, this is a feeding video, so of course there are going to be dead animals that we're feeding to our snakes. So if this is something that kind of grosses you out or you're a bit squeamish, you might not want to watch this video. I'm sure YouTube is going to demonetize it, but we thought it would be a cool video, so we're going to film it anyway and share it with you. With all of that now aside, hopefully, if you're still here, you're not very easily grossed out. And let's feed some chickens. Feeding chickens is not required in a snake's diet. Rodents are a complete diet for all of the snakes we'll be feeding today, but it doesn't hurt to offer a little bit of variety. Now that being said, you don't want to feed, say, a toad to a hognose snake because the hognose might get addicted to the toad and not want to eat mice again. So you have to keep that in mind when feeding your snakes different food items because you don't want them to get hooked on the new food item that you cannot always provide for them. But the snakes we're going to feed today aren't picky at all, so they'll eat this chicken and they'll go back to their normal diet after this. Today we will be feeding four of our larger pythons. We'll be feeding Murdoch, who is a reticulated python up here. We'll also be feeding Popeye, who is an albino labyrinth Burmese python. We're not going to be feeding Doug. I'm sorry, Doug. I know you think this is for you, but you don't have to eat tonight. Instead, we're going to skip over Doug and feed Noodle, our other reticulated python down there. And finally, we'll be going downstairs into our bull snake room where olive oil, our albino Burmese python or female, we're going to feed her to tonight. Let's start with Murdoch. Hey, dude. Is that scary? Is it too scary? He doesn't smell like a rat, he yeah. says. Okay, Papa, you're next. Please eat. Looks like he's in blue, so he might not eat, but fingers are crossed. He might be too dumb to know it's not a rat. Really? It's tasty. It's a tasty, tasty chicken. No, you can't come out. We're feeding you right now. He's like, but that doesn't smell like food. <laughs> well, we're 0 for 2. Should we try, Doug? Think you can handle it? This wasn't supposed to be for you, dude. But since they're not eating it... He's tense like... Oh! Oh, ew, he says. That's gross. I don't eat poultry. Oh, there, there. Nice. Don't rip its head off. Yeah, that'd be gross. Hey Noodle, are you ready? She cleared off her eating corner. That's what she does when she's hungry. She like pushes all of the bedding aside. And I think that's her sign to be like, put food here. I'm a little chicken. Whoa, oh my gosh. Oh Noodle, she's trying so hard, but she's eating it backwards. She's like, just turning her head around like, maybe if I eat it from this direction, or not direction, from this angle, she's still butt first and not making any progress at all. There you go, Noodle finally has it head first. Good job, girl.
And our last snake to feed a chicken to tonight is olive oil, which is our albino Burmese python. Look oh, at you this. messed up all your puppy pads. Look at this. Check that out. What is it? That is tasty food. Oh, jeez. Wow. That was the she best was. feeding response out of them all. That was. So she doesn't accidentally eat them. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll give those back to you afterwards, Kay. We just don't want you to eat them because you're a Burmese python and berms are dumb. Berms are really dumb. She's another one that's going to be in a big display room in, at the facility, so I can't wait to see her in that. But for now, she's just kind of temporarily in one of these bull snake bins. lot longer than we were expecting. I actually went to bed after we fed the albino berm at the end and Ed thankfully he works night so he was awake to be able to film everything. It no joke took Doug four and a half hours to eat his chicken. It was insane. Insane. It seems like the reason why they took so long to eat was because of the wings on the chickens. Like, they all got stuck at the wings, it seemed. And it didn't help that Noodle ate hers backwards at first until she finally, after about two hours, let go, retried, and ate it the right way. So, chickens are harder to feed uh, than rodents, for sure but it was still kind of a cool learning experience or it was interesting just for us to watch them swallow that large prey item. So I hope you enjoyed it too. I'd like to of course thank the Patreon backers for supporting this channel. You guys are awesome. We appreciate everything. I hope you have enjoyed the extra feeding videos that I've been putting on Patreon for you. And of course we would like to thank Carrie for giving us all of these chickens. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have had this video today. So thank you Carrie and thank you everybody for just watching. We'll see you all next time.